the area of the quadrilateral is bounded by the y axis the line x equal to 5 and the lines modulus of x minus y minus modulus of x minus y equal to 2 is fine. Nice challenging question. Let's draw the coordinate. This is the coordinate axis. First of all, I can sense that this is a set of linear equations, a bunch of lines. Y axis, the line x equal to 5. So y axis, this slice the y axis. the line x equal to 5. These are two parallel tracks. Okay. Modulus of x minus y minus modulus of x minus y equal to 2. That's the other line. What am I going to do? I'm going to say where does it cut the x axis? Where does it cut the y axis? Let me get a sense of that. And where does it cut x equal to 5? Let me get a sense of that. And we'll build from there. And so x minus y minus of x minus modulus of x minus y put x equal to 0 mod y minus mod 5 equal to 2 mod y equal to 7. So y could be 7 or y could be minus 7. So it cuts at 0 comma 7 it cuts at 0 comma minus 7. Put y equal to 0, we have mod x minus modulus of x minus 5 equal to 2. We are talking about this range, x between 0 and 5, that's all we are thinking about. x is between 0 and 5, mod x is x, modulus of x minus 5 is 5 minus x. So mod x is x minus of 5 minus x is 2. Sorry, 2x minus 5 equal to 2, 2x is 7, x is equal to 7 by 2. 7 by 2 comma 0, 3 and a half comma 0, somewhere here it cuts. So x equal to 3.5, y equal to 0, this is 3.5, 3.5 minus 5 is 1.5, 3.5 minus 1.5 is 2, yeah that works. 7 by 2 comma 0 that's where it cuts nice beautiful now I know that x is between 0 and 5 x is positive x is less than 5 so modulus of x minus 5 is 5 minus x modulus of x minus 5 distance from 5 x is less than 5 this is going to be 5 minus x in this range much I've got then x minus y <coughs> this will be x minus y when x is greater than y y minus x when x is less than y and so or if I say I'm going to draw this beautiful line x equal to y like this the line x equal to y below this x is greater than y above that x is less than y so below this here my expression is x minus y minus of phi minus x is equal to 2 or x minus y minus 5 plus x equal to 2, 2x minus y equal to 7. That's the expression this side, 2x minus y equal to 7. Expression this side, y minus x minus of 5 minus x equal to 2, y minus x minus 5 plus x equal to 2. This is y equal to 7. Nice. This is y equal to 7. This is 2x minus y equal to 7. So 2x minus y equal to 7, I still have to draw. y equal to 7, I'm going to put it in another nice color. I've used red for the axis, this for this. This is y equal to 7. Right? And then 2x minus y equal to 7. Put y equal to 0. x is 7 by 2. Yeah, this point. Put x equal to 0, we get y equal to minus 7 at this point. I am interested in putting x equal to 5, but that's where it cuts here. 2 into 5 minus y is 7. It cuts at the point y equal to 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. So we have a line like this. y3 a 
at a point 5,3. Put x equal to 5. This goes to 0. Modulus of 5 minus y is 2. It will cut at 7 and it will cut at 3. So, we want to find area of this region bounded R this graph modulus of x minus y minus modulus of x minus phi equal to 2 is a graph like this and like this and properly viewed graph find two different lines cutting at some point all of these points will satisfy this now we want to find the area of the quadrilateral bounded inside this so we'll, we'll pick one another interesting color so we're looking at this 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 and this this beautiful trapezium it cuts at 5 comma 3 and at 5 comma 7 so this length is 4 it cuts at 0 comma 7 0 comma minus 7 this length is 14 the height is 5 5 comma 0 0 comma 0 area is half into distance between the two parallel lines into some of the two non parallel sides parallel side not non parallel side 14 plus 4 is 18 area is half into 18 into 5 9 into 5 45 square units beautiful question properly time consuming properly challenging we draw this we draw this we carve that brick by brick luckily this becomes 5 minus x throughout this could be x minus y or y minus x here it is x minus y here it is y minus x when it is x minus y, it is one nice straight line. When it is y minus x, it is this weird line. So we're talking about this trapezium. Get to 45. <coughs> the idea we are using is mod x equal to x. If x is greater than or equal to 0, equal to minus x if x is less than 0. So modulus of x minus 5 equal to x minus 5 if x is greater than or equal to 5 equal to 5 minus x if x is less than 5. In our entire range, it is 5 minus x. So life is simple. Not two equations, only one. Modulus of x minus y equal to x minus y if x is greater than y equal to y minus x if x is less than y. Which is why we get this and this, two different shapes. Two different lines for that for x greater than y x less than y super interesting question super challenging question super time consuming question a right royal pain in the neck right but lovely interesting till to solve